Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Reverend Akai here of House of Refuge. Uh, today is Sunday, the 22nd of March, 2020. And uh, I'd like to say today we are not having a regular Sunday service like we used to. But thank God for technology, we are able to still communicate with one another. Uh, this is the season whereby the whole world is hit by the virus called coronavirus. And uh, because of that, uh, so many things have changed in our world as we know it. And so I would like to use this medium to, to share a bit with you. I'd like to say good morning to you. And i also like to say today we want to remind ourselves that this is indeed the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in this day. Uh, in spite of the fact that we can't move freely as we would love to, uh, it is still a season to share the good news. Uh, in season and out of season, the Bible says we must share the good news. These are the last days that scripture talked about. I remember we used to watch movies in the 80s as kids uh, and, and as young men, and uh, we would see people you know, in their homes, locked away, afraid to come out, and so on and so forth. And those things, we used to find it difficult to really imagine the reality of it. But we are seeing some of these things today. You know, this is to remind us that we are in the last days that the Bible talked about. But it is not something to be afraid about, because the Bible, Jesus tells us, say, be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. So we are people of faith. We have faith in Jesus Christ and we will continue to be of good cheer. Number two, we don't want to lose focus of the purpose of the church in a season like this. The purpose of the church is to promote and fulfill the agenda of Jesus Christ upon the surface of the earth. That is the great commission to win souls for the kingdom of God, to recruit more men into the army of God, because this is a time for rescue. This is a final phase for divine rescue of souls. I will read this scripture from 2 Timothy chapter 4, starting from verse 1. It's Apostle Paul speaking to his son Timothy. He says, I solemnly charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead and by his appearing and his kingdom. Verse 2 says, preach the word, be ready when the time is right, and even when it is not. He says, keep your urgency, keep your sense of urgency, whether the opportunity seems favorable or unfavorable, whether convenient or inconvenient, whether welcome or unwelcome. Now you see we are in a time where People may not want to listen to the word of God. People would want to blame God for some of the calamities they see on earth. But the Bible says whether it is risen, the time is uh, favorable or not, whether the message is welcome or not, the Bible says we must continue to preach. Because you speak and declare the word, the Holy Spirit does the rest. He brings conviction to the hearts of men. For this is a season whereby the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. So i like to encourage you, church, that this is not a time to sit around and mop around. This is not a time to watch uh, uh, Nigeria movies or to watch uh, Z cinema and all of that. This is a time to engage. Either you are praying or you are sharing the word. Use the platforms available. Use social media, Facebook, you know, uh, uh, use uh, Instagram, use WhatsApp, and all of the platforms that are available out there to share the word of Christ, for this is the season for it. Why? Verse 3 of that, uh, for, uh, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3 of it says, For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine and accurate instruction. People will go about believing all kinds of things. So the word of God has to go out to save the lives of men. It says in verse 5 of that scripture, it says, But as for you, be clear-headed in every situation. Stay calm and cool and steady. Endure every hardship without flinching. And it says, Do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill the duties of your ministry. Do the work of an evangelist. Church, this is the time for us to do the work of an evangelist. I encourage you to stand up for Jesus in this season. I encourage you to continue to share the good news. 
and we will see the world come to Christ in Jesus' name. This is a time for great harvest. Bless you. May the Lord continue to strengthen you. We will wait and see how things play out, but we know that at the end of the day, the Lord will be glorified. God bless you, and thank you for watching.